Yo, welcome back to a new video. Today I've streamed a little bit on this account here to make sure that we actually had more uh, mats for the upcoming more videos that I'm gonna do. And we do indeed have 6,817. We played some games. I will show you guys how many in just a minute of seconds. I already know that, my replays. So, I basically win all the time. The issue is I'm playing against like people that are grinding slash having more powers than me slash people that are sniping me because they're mad about me because I win against them every single time. Which is kind of sad, like you can see here I lost because this opponent had like the copy eco and everything, had the damage boost and that guy was also sniping me which is kind of sad if I'm being honest. This guy I don't know if he was sniping me. But most of the people here you can see, let's say, who was sniping me? You can also see I was playing some CC. Um, here I lost because of my stupid internet, which was pretty stupid. Uh, let's see, who did I play against who were basically sniping? Okay, so he was nothing. So basically when I started streaming, I got a sniper which was this guy, this guy, this guy and those two between. So basically, if you don't know, this guy player 6592050 is the guy who snipes me at the most because again, they're basically angry at me and uh for winning all the time. Now, if I go to the battles TV, we can see if I go to times 5 I was basically annoyed by this kid, that's why I'm emoting so much. And he basically lost to my funny strategy. I used also Copy Eco this time to see if I got any chance in case he actually has Sword of Wounds. Which he also had, but he didn't use it right away, which is so weird. And I decided to just meme around, use the self freeze when I can, on round basically 7 at the end. And you see what's happened here. It was at the end of the stream, by the way. Self freeze, sent those yellows, Bloom boosted it, and he freaking dies to freaking yellows. He didn't even, he did use the damage boost, but way too late, and he just dies. Now, if we go to the funniest game in my entire life, which is against this kid here, who actually it's also one of those clan members. Maybe all of them are gang members, but like, let's see. This guy, I swear to god, this guy was so bad. Accordingly to my uh, beer, they said if they use the... Um, what's the name? What is the name? The crying mode? There we go. They meant to make me like... That I'm sad or pissed off that they always snipe. But I'm actually like happy because I get free mats. The issue is they have like those kind of powers, you know? Knock out everything. And uh, I basically still win a game, like, easily. And I didn't even die here at all, which is kind of funny. And I'll say that for sure. I don't mean it pretty much in a hard-ish way, or like pretty harsh. It's that you shouldn't really try to snipe someone who's way better than you. Try to play and get better in the game, because again, you just make yourself a fool. Basically a fool. And uh, you can see how bad he is by using Sniper, Farm, Angie and Will Helicopter. It might be Angie, Farm and Helicopter, but this guy definitely is not the greatest. I also sent him a funny CMG that I uh, used. And yes, I did use my Eco Boost if you were curious about. Or else I wouldn't have so much Sniper Pumps at this point. <laughs> but uh, you can see my opponent here is not really the greatest. I actually waited for another round, there it goes, the CMG, and you can see when it's like times 2, there we go, that my opponent couldn't really defend that at all. The eco was pretty bad, the defense against VFPs in general was pretty bad, so why not send him like a CMG? And you can see what happens, I face bombed the ADC, because they suck at this game. I'm Truly really sorry that I'm saying that, but if you're not as good as I am, and you see a free-to-play RTR Rixus, 
then you should know, you should run. I'm not saying that I'm as good as I always should be, as I'm self-proclaiming I'm good, but um, if you're not that good, please don't like try to play against me, if that makes sense. As well as you make yourself look a clown, because you basically lose against this account here. And this account is basically new. And uh, today we are just gonna play like 5 games in total maybe. Making it a longer video for you people to watch and see how I play. I also have the Farmers which is definitely pretty decent. We got Super Monkey, we don't really need that. We got Chipper, definitely pretty decent. And if we win this game, we get to 8000. We already had 10,000 but I used them on the upgrades and to, to buy the base the Cobra. Which is something that I would say is definitely pretty viable, especially for the early game. To make sure that uh, we basically win all the games. Good thing is we have, finally have the farmers, which is what I need the most. <laughs> I really need the farmers the most because I hate clicking on the bananas on Steam account or Steam version on this game. Which is really annoying. So I try my best to try and clip them when I got no more farmers, but for now I think I'm fine. So I wonder what the number one player is doing right now. Well basically he's not a number one player, but uh, yeah he's definitely not really a good player for sure, if I'm being honest. I don't need to real world spec this actually. What's, his, what's he going? Why is he going ace there? That is kind of weird. I did upgrade my farm which is good. I'm gonna face farm because that's not what you should do. Alright, and he's face plumbing me for whatever reason. Sure. Let's use the bloom boost and use this guy here. There we go. Pings without end. Let's go. He goes he goes for the ninja farm ace. I don't think you're good that good to use that strategy to be honest. Not saying that he's bad, but it's CC, so I wouldn't say he's that good to use that strategy, if I'm being honest. There we go. He got a lot more defense off, which is what we need. Um, I'm really sorry what happened in the stream, by the way. I, I was way too toxic to the user that always tries to snipe me. Which again, I don't really like getting sniped and people like them should basically know that. To be honest, just saying. But uh, he just wants to see me rage. And of course, I don't really feed him with that kind of thing. Now, so he just used uh, to upgrade farm, which is not great. So I'm gonna rush him with Plex. He might actually die here, since again it's CC. Yeah, he's fine still. Good. He goes for the double shot, so he's fine for now. Not for long, though, because again, yellow is something that he needs to prepare. That's something he needs to prepare. I'm gonna face pump for that. Let's see. Oh, finally it sends me something, but it's not worth, basically. It's not really worth. It's not worth. Alright, so am I fine here? Probably am. So what I'm gonna do is probably sell my sport. Nah, I'm not gonna sell. Not going to sell. It's not worth. Is he really sending me this while I'm using this here as his bait? Oh well. First, and he dies. 100%. Yep, GG's. This is what you get for face bombing. Again, if you don't know what to do and don't face bomb, then you basically do it. But if you face bomb and you don't know what to do, you get to face bomb back as soon as possible when I win this game. I'm not trying to be toxic. It's just that if people don't know how to play the game and they face bomb you, then I'm not really in charge of your loss, basically, if that makes sense. As another person who has a new account, however the prestige isn't really the greatest, which of course is understandable, and he most likely will be rushing me with a lot of region rainbows, so I'm gonna try and counter that with my tech shooter. Good thing is also we can go for 10 farmers, and use those 10 farmers in a game, and then we can easily, basically, get way more farmers. This is what I call pretty nice. And I got so much money at this point that we are basically fine. So he's going for Dark Monkey. So I expect him to go for DFA. 
And if I'm being honest, I think I'm gonna win this, because I have Clue. Clue is just overpowered, if I'm being honest. So he's gonna Road Spike that, which is something I had never seen. Maybe he's... seen something? He's Ecoing. So that's a plus already for this guy. So I think I'm gonna go for a Blade Shooter. I'm gonna Road Spike this here right away, because I need it. There we go, and there we go. Blade Shooter has been acquired. This is also a good spot for the Blade Shooter, because I can, uh, can also attack here -ish. Which is something I would say is a pretty nice thing. So he's actually e and not farming with DFA. Okay, that's something I've never pretty much seen. Well, it, again, it is a CC. You shouldn't probably never see someone using DFA or NFE or whatever your strategy is so popular, if you know what I mean. So basically, I would say he's going like Dart, Sniper and Wizard most likely. If that makes any sense of gameplay, I guess. Let's uh, keep on sending those blues, and now let's keep on sending those pings. Because he might not win or defend those pings as we think he will do. Let's get us 380 or 308, I meant. And then basically just worry about the farm. And it's completely tier 2, uh, tier 3, basically, at this point. He's actually leaking quite a lot. Maybe I'm gonna go for the mix eco as this guy is ecoing. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I'm gonna mix eco with uh, layering because he needs to go for the sport if he sees that I'm mix ecoing as well. So I need to rush him and force him some defense so he doesn't really send me anything that is major stuff like rains around 7 constantly because I also need to defend those basically yellows on round 8 that he might be sending me soonish. So I'm gonna try and mix eco here a little bit. And you can see it's basically walking out as he has like minimal defense. He goes for the wizard, so I was correct. Dart wizard at least. Seems like he is gonna be fine here nonetheless, as he is being chill with the two trip dots and the wizard. Is he trying to layer this? He is. Uh I can go for the farm upgrade and then go for the motor. If I can also buy it, thank you. Perfect. Perfect, now we're basically fine. Whatever it's gonna send me, I'm wiping. Let's see. My eco is definitely good, but my farm is not that good. There goes his uh, sport. Alrighty, so this is something that I've never seen. Someone actually ecoing in CC. Uh, is he gonna send me yellows? He is. I'm gonna go for the burning stuff, actually. Because burning stuff is better than going with a 1-1 mortar. Uh, some blues actually go through without any burning stuff effect. Which is not what you really want. That's that's also the reason behind it. And if I abuse my 4th tower, I'm sorry, but I have to. I want to secure the W. And, of course, you can also use the 4th tier towers as this is free to play. But in more petty cannot use it because, again, it's not really allowed in there, since it's already disabled, which is good, because 4th Towers basically broke the game when it was like that for basically years. And nobody really wanted to see those 4th Towers every single time in an arena that is like, pretty much big. Let's see if he's gonna rush me some camels. He is actually. Interesting. He knows how to basically rush me then. Okay, that's that's interesting. Well, let's see, I can probably force him to boost here with some C present whites. Probably. Who knows? Ah, uh, doesn't seem like it. He likes to leak. This is what I see at most from this guy. Interesting. So he's fine. What does he have that he's so fine with then? I don't seem to have seen a sniper shot here, so. Let's see. I'll keep on sending those stuff here. Maybe those wizards lightnings like the main source of his defense. Probably is. Like, uh... That actually is kinda interesting that he went for this kind of strategy, if that makes sense. There's a ceramic. That should be more enough. Yep, it is. As you can see. Easiest defense in my life. That's another ceramic. 
don't know why he keeps on sending those ceramics, but at this point I'm fine. If he sends me like a camo, I would probably be screwed because I wasn't focusing on his little ceramic there. Still no ceramic. Okay, so I think with my income I should be more than fine. I'm kind of surprised that he actually survives this long. Maybe I can force him to go for the basically uh, boost. This is what I want the most from the opponent. Come on. Thank you. Let's sell this guy and go for this guy. Let's see if he's gonna rush me or not. That'd be fun, but I have to abuse my fourth tower, which is what we initially want to do. Unless he doesn't rush me as I expect him to be. And we got a Ring of Fire. Look at that. Ring of Fire is gonna help me a lot. I'll keep on sending those whites to keep on echoing. He might actually die. Did he, why, did he, why is he not boosting? I was about to say he would not have survived that. GG's. Kind of weird of this guy, like BG. I don't know who this guy is, but he plays good. I wonder who this guy is. Huh, interesting. Well, this is my account. I'm not gonna rematch, sorry. If you know who I am, I don't rematch people. At all. At all. By the way, 10 farmers is 2,000 mats. So each 10 farmers, I get like 2,000 mats gone. And I have to win basically all the games. Which kind of sucks. So I may have to use this strategy now. This guy seems okay-ish. I don't know why he's in CC though. I don't get it, this guy. And we got... Tech Shooter... Yes, I can use it because it's a good and viable strategy on this map. Especially if the opponent is trying to rush you. Yeah, I'm gonna place this farmer right here so I can actually use the farmer only once. Some people actually use it like here-ish, which I see is also pretty fine as you can cover like 8 farms or something. But I wouldn't say it's a good strategy or a good placement, but uh, yeah, you do you man. Let's go for the bolt. The boat is something I need. It's gonna send me some... Okay, he knows how to basically mix eco a little bit. Really interesting. I'm going for the farm real quick. And then I'll be using the money that I have left for the grape shot. And get ready for the rush that I might be sending soonish. Come on. Give me, give me, give me. There we go. Close. And then let's send him some stuff. We need a lot of stuff to send to force him a powerful dot. So basically, this is already enough, but I'm gonna send more. Because this map is not like a Treadboon, which is pretty long. And here goes the powerful dot, as you can see. Look at that. Nice. Which means we can basically now chill. Um, so basically, we make him get more defense and more... Uh, Damage up. So this is not really what you need to do. Send me pings is not really smart. This is not what you should do. At all. Sorry, but you should not send me pings. Against boat that is basically targeted on close. Oh, this is not good for this guy. Because he needs to focus on those greens now. And since he just upgraded his farm on the plantation. This is definitely not a good idea for this guy. There we go. Let's send him some plaques. And maybe we can keep on going unless he buys this right away. I think he bought it. Yeah, he bought it. Okay, 69. Nice, but he just leaked to 63, which is not great. I'll be going for another farm. Yeah, I'm gonna go for another farm. And now I'm gonna get him pushed. That's fine. As I'm going for the faster shooting. And that's already enough for the defense. Uh, so he's not sending me enough 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 to go for the more basically for run eight. If if he actually goes for the uh, plantation, he's basically vulnerable against yellows. But I'm going to send him anyway because I'm funny. He might boost here and greet for the plantation, which might be the play. Okay, okay, he seems to go for it. Is he really going for it? That's the question. Because you should never do that. As I'm going to ru re rush him, yeah, that's not smart. That is indeed not smart. You should never do that at all. I'm sorry, but you might die here now. 
Uh, so you might actually sell your farm too. Let's... If you don't sell your farm, you're dead. Yeah, you're dead. Darkling Boomer is not a good strategy, especially in CC. Because again, Darkling Boomer is not a really good strategy at all. It's not a good strategy. You should probably focus on more of the strategies you're familiar with. Or strategies in general you seem to see a lot and you see that it's actually viable and you can also use it. Darkling Boomer is more like a grinder strategy. And that's why you should not use that. Because Darkling Boomer nowadays is it's now like a power line bot strategy. Because you can use it on Team Tower Sun, Quick Shot, Camo, e uh, Recoil Efficiency, everything, you know. It's not really as. It's not a good tower combination in general. So you should basically use something that is more efficient to defend rushes or anything like that. And we can finally use our favorite strategy, or my favorite strategy, to be Ninja, Farm, and Mortar. Which is what I obviously use a lot. And uh, we might actually lose here, but we'll see. I'm a little bit rusty, but uh, we should be fine now. Ouch. I might actually buy... Yeah, I'm gonna buy three more. I guess I did. Yeah, you could, a bit, I did uh, buy three more. That is fine. This arena also is not great for basically... Uh, what is the name to EXP farm, as this doesn't really give you a lot of EXP. I mean it does, but it doesn't give you Eco EXP or Sabotage EXP. I think it doesn't even give you EXP in boost only. CC. Only in uh, CC with game modes, but I might be wrong. So his placement is really questionable. And he knows how the Eco. Okay, okay. I guess I'm gonna go with the 0, zero farm for now. Round spike here at least once. And go for the uh, mortar as soon as possible. Uh, I'm gonna leak once, so probably. Nah, uh, not gonna leak once. I'm a good player. <laughs> as I say, that I'm actually leaking. GG's. There we go. Let's focus those mortar targeting a little bit higher now. This placement is also not great for pings, as you can probably see here. Yeah, you can see it goes true and true, which means he's definitely not fine against pings. Which means I can keep on sending those pings. Yeah, his placements is definitely not the greatest. My placement is way better, as you probably know I've been playing this game for over a decade. Plus the PC version on the NK side, basically. Which is something I would say is original, as I again play this game for a decade. So I basically know what I'm doing. And sometimes I don't, because I'm also confused about my own self. But uh, Ninja Farm Motor used to be a pretty good strategy. Sadly, it's no longer the case for that. But uh, I still use it, because it's memory. And memory usage of towers that you, you know normally don't see anymore. That's something I would say is pretty fun still. So let's go for the Bernie stuff, and then I'll be going for the... Rush later on. So he has a tier 1, so he's basically fine now against Plagues. Let's go for the accuracy, because I don't want to move my mortar every single time, or the targeting basically. Also, if I talk too much, it's only me talking and explaining what I'm gonna do, as the new people basically don't know what I'm doing in my future videos. We're not really future videos, more like my main account, since I don't really talk about those rushes I'm sending him, because again, it's not really worth talking about it as my main account doesn't have this kind of thingy that I do anymore, like Rex Riches and everything. I think Rex Riches on a new account with 2023 on its line, basically. It's 2023 still, of course. Or else I wouldn't be using that as, you know, my strategy account. He might actually die here, and he dies. GG's. Um, basically, it is something I would say okay, I would say, but uh, don't try to play like me where I'm just winning and winning and winning as you think those strategies are good. 
No, you need to focus on one singular strategy and then try up with every single one strategy to find it. Or watch from what uh, I cannot even speak anymore. Or watch some videos from Sex Tech Power, Asian Sensation, or even for myself. Maybe from back then also Baltrix, Alukian, those people also played this game back then when I was not really recording. I would say those people were the people that you would say were pretty good at this game, so yeah, that's something I would say. Also, I'm getting PM'd by everyone here, which is kind of weird, as usual. And of course we got Dungeon, the most late game map ever. Ah, oh, this is fun, but we go with the Ninja of a Mortar, maybe we get something good, maybe not a Super Monkey. Tech shooter is good, okay. So I will see you guys after this pause real quick. And here we are again. We can play this game now. Just check what the people say. They were just greeting me. Uh, nothing more. <laughs> That's what you expect from someone who's basically not really popular, but who knows and talks to people daily, basically, if that makes sense. So his defense is okay, I would say. I'll go for if nothing. I'll just... Basically wait, go for the farm, and I'll probably sell this guy, because we need to go for the mortar, as the mortar is way better for the crop damage. There we go. Look at that. Vibing. Let's put this guy right here, actually. That's better for the popping power. Let's also put the faster barrel spin on the fast barrel spin. Up. Ah, Darton, Darton came out of my mind. Yeah, if you don't know, I'm basically a Dartling farm to you player, so I basically talk everything with Dartling upwards at this point, which is kind of weird. <laughs> it is what it is. So he's definitely vulnerable against Blues, so he goes for the double shot, and there goes his double shot. So good job on this guy, I'm gonna say uh, well done. Uh, some people actually don't know what to do when I send him Blues, when he goes with the uh, ninja basically, if that makes sense. Let's uh, try not to leak here too much. Perfect. After that, I'm fine, basically. I'm fine now. Probably should also go for the Beaker Blast, as this actually covers a lot. You can see here. Actually covers a lot. So I'm good now. It doesn't really matter when I got, like, bad farms. But it does matter if I go for, like, more aggressive stuff, because this strategy used to be pretty aggressive. So you need to be more aggressive in your rushes, basically. As you can see, I'm layering, as this guy will not be fine against greens al alone. There we go. Pings overhead, and maybe it will boost. We'll see, we'll see. Goes for the bomb, okay, okay. Goes for the bomb, interesting, interesting. So it's all three road spikes down there, and he still leaks. <laughs> Which means, he's not fine. Maybe we can force him to go for the cluster bomb in this round. That'd be pretty, pretty nice. Come on, go for the cluster bomb, I know you want to. This round is not really great for your defense as it is right now. My defense is pretty amazing, because again, pick up less 50 burning stuff is basically the best defense you can wish for. I'm gonna say well done, as he boosted, which is, I don't know why he boosted. But if he doesn't go for the cluster bomb, I will definitely send him yellows. Oh, keep on sending till you I see a cluster bomb. Okay, I'm gonna stop here now. Give him a well done. Uh, see, so went for the cluster bomb. We got 800, basically 800, yeah. <laughs> basically 485 income, which is definitely pretty decent. Now we go focusing on the farms because again we have tech shooter in case we need to to use it. And we're basically wiping now. We need to go for the 2-2 or 2-1 at least. Come on, thank you. As the burning stuff will also carry on. Let's put this gun strong real quick, and now first. And a double shot. As you can see, I'm fine. It's my favorite strategy, so what do you expect? <laughs> it is my favorite strategy. And I assume I can go for like 550 income. So we can actually force to make him um, boost another time, maybe. Yes, sniper. And he has also a semi rifle. Ooh. Does he have ninja farm, uh, ninja sniper ace? With bomb as his fourth tower, is that what it, what he has? 
As this is not our last opponent, most likely, but I will gladly see if that makes sense. Hmm. What if I send them quite some bunch? We can go for the BI, so it doesn't really matter. But we've been so ag aggressive that we don't really need to go for the BI at this point. I would only go for the BI if I had like 120 income, but here we have 550, which is way too aggressive for the liking of basically Ninja from Mortar. So if he goes for the um, that, and sniper farm, then we easily send him like pings because he most likely will have no what's the name, no defense for the uh, pings basically, and he has to go for like the bomb or something. I'll likely push it right here. Let's go for another ninja basically up here and see what he's gonna do. Let's send him some lads. Oh what? No way, he actually He actually just sold only his ninja. Interesting. I want to boost here. Uh I don't feel safe, especially after this. Yeah. We wasted the boost, that's fine. Don't really matter. Doesn't matter as I'm still vibing. I had to abuse the texture though, which is kinda sad. But our income is definitely great. I'll easily go for the Republic when needed. I don't need it yet. What about Moab? I don't think he is fine against a Moab. Is he a secret good player? He might be a case for a secret pro player, if I'm being honest. Uh, let's sell this guy. Come on. Thank you. I might road spec this. Please don't. Thank you. Blinchitz is still overpowered, but it needs some buffs, if that makes sense. I could go, I could go for BI, believe it or not, but I'm not going to. I'm going for double or quintuple of the, uh, what's the name? Plantations and then go for the Republic. Because against, you know, against, um... BFBC is definitely not fine, so he needs to go for a double slowdown, or not slowdown, but double sniper farm and then a slowdown, which is the uh, sabotage. But he's definitely not fine. I ain't boosting that because you don't really need to boost that. Is he actually boosting me a BFP too? Oh wow. So much for uh, chilling. And goes for the Blue Impact. Okay, so he has that much money. Really interesting. Huh, okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna slow it down. And go for the Maelstrom. As the Maelstrom is way better as it is. There we go. That should be more than enough. Yep. Interesting. So he knows how to rush me too, huh? Alright then, we got two Republics. I should have gone for the BI then. Well, that sucks. But if he goes for the Sniper Farm, oh yeah, okay, never mind. He's gonna die. Uh, that's a no preano for this guy, like he will die. I'm gonna sell one Republic still, because I need to send him some stuff. There we go. If he has actually sniper farm ace or sniper sniper ace, that'd be something else. Because I would lose right away because he would just crown zero. Doesn't seem like he's gonna be fine. Is he not fine? Seriously? Wait. Yeah, he's not fine. Gee, fucking gee. That player was actually pretty decent. He knew how to rush me too. So I'm giving a uh, good game to this guy. So I'm basically pretty much respect for this guy. But I'll see you guys after the check real quick, hold on. Alright, let's see. Did he had Ace as his third tower? I assume he had to use this fourth tower? He had Boomerang! He had Boomerang? Okay, then Bombshell seems also pretty good, but we you, you, you need like the Ace. 
if you truly want to win the game. Wow, okay. Then I guess one more game and then we call it a day. As we will also reach 20,000. Maybe I'm gonna play off screen too, because I want to play some boss arenas on the next episode. And then we can return to the CC grind or more pit grind when it's boost only. I don't wanna rely on boost only only, as I'm only pretty good at it. But uh, if we need to, we need to. It's basically whatever it is. Also, before I'm gonna go in CC for the last opponent, I want to see what we can buy. Can we buy something pretty nicely? As you can see, we already bought Cobra, so we need to. Okay, we got Boomerang, which is good. The fourth tier of tower for the upgrade. That's cool. Basically, we can almost have everything. Ooh, this is this is really good. This is really good, which means we can now use the Dark Punk Blue in the boss arenas to basically win. So if you go Blast or Dreadbloom, we secure a W right away, so it doesn't really matter. I'll gladly go up until 50,000 or maybe 70,000 with CC only and win, if that makes sense. Tech is our last opponent, which means we'll be fine using any strategies that we'll see fit. And I think I'm gonna randomize. Maybe something good. Boomerang is okay, I could use it, sure. I'll be using it. Maybe it's gonna skip it, who knows. We'll see. We'll gladly see. I also don't mind the six losses. Uh, we had two games where I lost against the Stream Sniper, two games where I lost against TC, and then two games, or one game where I lost against someone who was just being dumb and I used one random strategy basically, if that makes sense. So I don't really mind it. Please. <laughs> As it is actually concerning that I actually lost against some noobs. Nah, I wouldn't say they're noobs, but I played pretty bad as I had randomizing with T3 upgrades only. Which is pretty bad. Really, really bad. I didn't know I uh, had like bad towers only. I realized when I only had the A's as the T3 and I forgot that we don't have freaking Spectre and anything like that. And I relied on the fourth tower a lot and we still lost, which is basically pretty bad. But it's fine, it's fine. It happens, you learn from your mistakes, so it doesn't really matter. Let's go for the wild funds. So one issue we have is we don't have the tier 4 sub, and it takes another 100 battle score before we get it. But we do indeed have the camo, which is basically good, it doesn't really matter. I'll use Forest back here now, and that should basically enter still really nicely. Why is he not attacking? There we go. He's stuck there like all the time, and it's kind of weird. Let's put the uh, Rose Spectre there, so we didn't leak too much. That's good enough, I don't mind that. One red balloon, that's fine, it doesn't really matter. And I'm thinking with the Cobra strategy here, which is not really a good strategy for sure, and we do have the slowdown, which is something else. But uh, I don't think we're basically wiping here unless we got the boomerang to use, but uh, it is something else. We may actually use the boomerang as the clay float maybe. Who knows? But we definitely need the bionic boomer around, basically ADV rushes me with yellows. Which means I also have to sell two boom uh, cobras in case I over eat which is something that happens most of the time. So hopefully we don't do that. As I'm still space echoing. But we should be fine here nonetheless. Let's go for the boomerang. And that should basically be easy win here. Oh, clear the leak here. It doesn't really matter that we leak. Because again, this is not three power-ups where the opponent has the eco choke basically or solid ruins. So we can easily eco and leak those lives here. Also it doesn't really matter. Um, using randomizing strategies is kind of risky if you're not good at this game, or you know you can't really win this game. But since we got the boomerang as the fourth tower, I think we can easily win this. We just need, <coughs> excuse me, to go for the bionic boomer later on, or the clay floor in case we sense the camo region stuff, you know the troll. Region, camo, rainbows, everything. I don't know why I get this message here. 
Something with my uh, Firefox. I don't know what's happening there though. Alrighty, let's see. I'm gonna send him one stuff. Also, I'm gonna get ready for the camo sub in case we need it. I mean, we'll leak one camo green, but it doesn't really matter. There we go. Let's see what he's gonna do. Those really never miss, okay. And he does not have a camo ace. That's something else. Well, I'm still fine, basically. It doesn't really matter. I'll gladly try my best to... And I saw as well now as I need to do that. There we go. I should be fair enough to go for like the clave at this point because multiple popping power with the clave. Uh, if he truly rushes me, I'll probably. Yeah, he goes. Okay, that's just funny. I'll probably sell those two. Yeah, I'm gonna sell those two. There we go. Probably not needed, but I had to because we're on 16. Nice too. Let's uh, get back here, I guess. I don't know what this kid is doing. There we go. That's more enough. I'll gladly basically boost here now. Should I? I don't think I need to boost this, actually. Yeah, I don't. Cool. Got it. And we got uh, camo defense now. Basically on the maximum side. He's definitely fine against some more. There's nothing I can do. Unless he sends me a Moab. But it'll be something else. I think he's sending me a Moab now. Okay. Hmm. Probably slow it down. Surprising he actually sends me stuff. Yeah, he sends me the funny... Oh my god, this guy. This guy is actually funny. And... Turbocharge just to be safe. There we go. Let's get this up. There we go. I'm gonna boost you as well, as I do not have popping power against anything else. Ah, uh, come on. Nice. Got it. Yeah, if he sends me a BFP, he's definitely screwed. I had to boost, sadly, because lads were in the way. And BFP? No BFP? Okay, fair. I mean, fair. It is fair. I should probably went for the uh, rocket. But if he sends me a BFP, he's definitely screwed. That's why I went for the upgrade there, up there. As he would not be fine against anything that he might be sending. Yep, I'm fine, still fine. Basically fine. Whatever it's gonna send me, I'm vibing. If he sends me like a constant BFP rush, I might count him with stuff. Maybe not, because I got good income too. And I can sell my Cobras if I really need to. Oh, is he rushing? Nice. You should never send your opponent BFPs. You just lose. Let's uh well this guy got the turbo charge when I can. And that's basically now. Perfect, look at that. That's such a nice defense on my end. Yep. And he's dead. GG's. Against the BFP he's definitely not fine. But against one more AP is fine. But not against a BFP on its own. GG's. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, you know the drill. You need to subscribe and like if you want to support me. I mean, it really helps me a lot, but you don't really have to if you just want to watch the videos without any subscriptions or notification on me when streaming every single day or not. It doesn't really matter for you. And if you really want to support me, you can always comment down below what you think of this Rex Riches so far. I'll definitely try and play tomorrow as well with the main account and the basically the Rex Riches account on Blast Populous and the uh oh, what's the name? Dragoon, in case I win with Rex Riches accounts. 
But I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys as usual in the next video. And as usual, I'll see you guys there. Peace out and have a juicy day.